Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm your host Cole here and welcome back to a brand new video and today we are actually on the server called Warzone MC and I'm going to be talking to you guys about their next release which is actually going to be on Saturday March 5th at 3 p.m. EST so I'm really excited about this as you can see on the left side of the screen they actually are doing paypal and bycraft rewards for the winners of the map and today i'm just going to be talking through all the cool features on this server and why you all should come play with me here on warzone mc so without further ado let's hop right into it okay everyone so the first thing i want to talk about in today's video is the economy of the server and there's actually a bunch of different economies on the server so right now i'm in the dark zone world where you guys can grind silverfish as an economy which will make you a lot of money as you guys can see over there there's a number of silverfish spawners which you guys can grind for money i think they drop nether stars as you guys can see right here and they have this mob sword plugin for these things where you guys can upgrade this if you shift right click or i think you do slash upgrades so there's a number of different enchants that you guys can get in order to increase the amount of money you're making. So that's the first economy. There's also a mining economy. If I can run right over here, there's actually a mine right over this way. And there's actually a safe mine along with a PVP mine. Here, there's a PVP mine. You can mine blocks and in the pvp mine i think you make a little bit more money than you do in the safe mine just since more risk more reward so you guys can really choose your economy along with those two economies there's actually a cane economy along with a arpos economy if you don't know what either of those things are the cane economy basically means grinding sugarcane you can set up a sugarcane farm and they have these custom harvester hoes which you guys can use to boost the amount of money you're making from cane with all these different enchants as you can see here along with that our post is basically a raiding world during grace in which you can capture the raiding outpost by shooting a tnt cannon at it i'm not sure exactly how big the base is or how many walls it has but if you get in and you defend it for a certain amount of time you're able to get very very good rewards a lot of spawners for i don't know like 30 minutes to an hour so if you're able to hold that you can make a lot of money from that if you don't like to grind dark zone cane or mining another feature they have on this server are spawner shards i'm not sure if i can do slash shards in here but you can actually collect these shards near the outpost and if you collect 16 shards, I think it is, you're able to get a blaze, creeper, and villager. So if you guys like grinding silverfish or mining, you can have a guy running around here just collecting the shards. And you guys can get a couple extra spawners. But as you guys can see, they have the outpost here. Every 5 minutes, if you have it capped, you get $150,000. 2 times experience booster boosted spawn rate for your spawners another thing that i forgot to mention about the mines is the ancient miner boss which spawns in the pvp mine only the pvp mine every so often and if you kill it you get pretty good loot i don't exactly know what you get but i know that it's pretty good another thing i want to talk about on here is actually the map information it's going to be a three man's unlimited roster map 20 hour shields it's also going to be a four day map, two day TNT, and two day grace, which means you'll have two days to set your base up and then two days to raid other people on the server. And it's actually going to be three second cannoning. So you can have a cannon that shoots a shot every three seconds, and it will be 15 chunk buffers. So you can have 15 chunks of defenses on your base. Another thing on the server is costs. They happen every so often and i think there's a special day in which there's a mega cough that happens which has superior loot to the other coughs and is a pretty good way of making money if you're able to cap it because i think it's a special event that only happens once during every map 
Okay, so when you exit the dark zone, you have to exit through this portal, which is at the cores that you can see at the top left of my screen. But when you jump through, you're not safe. There's actually a kind of area where you can still fight. You have to actually get far enough out in order to be safe because it's not fair if you're just immediately teleported to spawn. So if you go dark zone, you have to be careful because after you get out, you're not entirely safe. You actually have to kite or get away from the people attacking you. So it's just something that you guys should probably keep in mind if you consider going dark zone. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna talk about is actually the crates. They actually have a crate system here on the server. They have Vogue crates, winter crates, warzone crates, spawner crates, and rare crates. I can show you all the rewards for each of the crates real quick. Um, here's a winter crate. Here's the warzone crate. Here's a spawner crate. And here's a rare crate. So if you're considering buying something on the server or voting, you now know what you're able to get. But a super cool feature, probably one of my favorite features on the server, is that if you vote five times, you're actually given, I think it's the second top rank. Yeah, so I think you are actually given the lieutenant rank if you vote five times. So it's totally not pay to win. If you vote five times, you get the lieutenant kit along with Wildfly and a lot of other things that are a luxury to have whilst playing a faction server. Another thing I want to show you guys about this server is actually the token shop. As you can see, there's two separate black markets. You can buy a variety of different things. You got the winter set, as you can see here. Trench picks and trade picks, infinite obsidian, which is very helpful, sand wands, and a number of other things that you guys may want. Here's the other shop. So just giving you guys an idea of what you can get from here. Another thing I want to talk about is the patch sets and damage sets. Damage sets help you do more damage and are better than most sets because of the damage boost. There's token sets, which I think is just a normal set. And then in a patch set, I don't entirely know the difference between all of these. I know the damage sets make you do more damage. Token sets are just normal sets that are nice to have. And then the patch sets, maybe it makes it easier to patch or something like that. But it's a cool feature that they have on the server, having these three different sets that you can gain through the token shop. But as I mentioned before, the payouts for this map is 150 PayPal for first. 50 bycraft per second and 25 bycraft per third so i really recommend that you all play the following map on the server once again it's on march 5th releasing at 3 p.m est so make sure to at least hop on and check it out the ip for the server will be in the description along with the server discord so i hope you all come on and play with me on this server but i think that's all for today's video I hope you all enjoy, and I hope to see you on the server in the future. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.